what is going on everybody welcome for the first time we're back to another dlj works video and today this is a tutorial on how to actually make your U screen platform multilingual what are the options right here and i got a real quick question that's gonna kill two birds with one stone i found you on youtube that's that's me <laughs> while doing research i'm contacting you because i'm looking into tr into transferring my own demand platform from member press to U screen so another person that reached out to me who was letting me know that you screen is more so preferred than these other platforms and I would highly agree with that. I have a fitness platform online and it is, it is already in all Spanish. I wanted to know if this is something I can do on you screen but make it into all Espanol. I've also looked at Vimeo TT but I am more inclined to go with you screen. Platform is a subscription base on member press all right but the functionality is very limited and I've already talked about this in my previous videos that you screen gives you a plethora of features and options and flexibility and customization that you're not going to find anywhere else if you're trying to be a complete creator so without further ado I just wanted to introduce you to this question but let's talk about how to actually make your website multilingual through you screen and let's go ahead and let's bring this up I'm gonna go ahead and click done on this so here I have the actual answer to that question directly from you screens article how to database and right here it says add multiple language options on your you screen sites now off the gate off the rip unfortunately you screen doesn't have some sort of like AI or, or machine learning or automation type of plugin that you can actually just immediately easily put into your you screen website to make this happen it's not like where Google where you can they automatically give you a drop-down option where it gives you all these language options like French Spanish German whatever all right and boom it immediately changes the whole entire language there's an AI that reads all the text on the screen and changes that language into whatever your preferred language actually needs to be so that's something I think you screen may be working on but for now and this article was updated at the time of this recording over a week ago so there's a couple of options here if you're looking to offer your end users the option to switch the language of your site there are a few options that can be implemented first is third-party software option now you talk about Bablick and that software already had that pulled up so let me see where is it at so this is Bablick right here I'm not familiar with Bablick so by um the purpose of this video is to introduce you to information right now and give you an answer to help guide you I can't really do a full tutorial where I'm just showing you and eliminating that time but it's to introduce you and give you those answers to where you may have to actually go a little bit further than me right now at this moment but i have not tried bablick at all so maybe actually in time maybe if i could play around with it and, and see what this is about and how this actually works maybe i'll do a video in the future on this but this is something that you can look into to actually see how this is incorporated so they so that's just an example but your first answer is third party software option and here they say that um with Bablick set up on your use screen site end users will see choices like this so that drop down i just talked about Bablick will allow you to actually be able to do that so you do need a third party software it's not going to be something that's going to be offered as some sort of like asset plugin here on you screen unless you get another developer a more advanced developer than me because i don't specialize in making plugins that can create that sort of language changing plugin for you all right i already looked on Quayle tv to actually see if there was any way to um look at to actually look at their um options or whatnot in terms of how this actually works but let's go home but I don't see anything in terms of changing. Let me boot this up. So uh, let me ask to see change language. Okay, so let me see here. Account details. You must be signed in. So maybe on the back end, you could probably change the language to the site where they have something already built in. I don't know if this person, the founder, has had some sort of like a developer plug this in and, and figure this out on their own. And it's custom to just Quayle TV, or if they're also using a third-party resource, where they says that they're using Bablick, that that's dumb. <laughs> that it says that they're using Bablick, but I just don't see it right here. So, um, so maybe then it needs to be updated in terms of how Quayle TV is actually making that happen using um, the Bablick video visual editor. But I'll put this link down here in the in the description so you can actually have access to that. And if you want to check out Bablick to add 
or use a third party option or you could google other options to see what would integrate with you screen as well and make that happen for yourself the other one is language specific categories so tent yoga I already have this so basically what it says here is that the second option for multi-language setup that we support would be making use of the catalog filtering feature you can see an example of this of the tent yoga site so basically what this um, allows you to do is that you already have content videos or whatnot that's in a different language and you can just pretty much make a category that's specific to that language and with tent yoga I've already pulled it up here and let me see here it says the only options is really just English and German on the this little article that's not it on this little article you can see that this little screenshot has English German Korea but it looks like maybe they got rid of several different languages and just reduced it down now to just English and German so you can see here that all these videos even though the titles aren't really in German the content the actual videos the language itself that's being played in a video is going to be in German so this is content specific or language specific categories that it's talking about and the, in terms of them talking about how they actually do that is this option requires you to name your videos and add to your descriptions in a respective language for the category you will assign it to so you're creating a category called German or Korean and you're just uploading those videos and applying those categories to that and it says that this method will not convert everything on your site to the other languages but it will help your users filter your video content by their language the last option is going to be multiple use screen sites and I actually wanted to go through this myself to try to understand and better explain to you what does it mean by multiple use screen sites so it says here the third option would be to create multiple use screen pages where different language where different languages are set as a default and the pages use a different subdomain so let's see what that actually says before because i mean ultimately if, if i wasn't doing this video and you just happen to come across this article you have to get in contact with the sales at uscreentv.com but i'm gonna kind of help you skirt that so you can understand a little bit better what they actually mean in terms of subdomains and pages so the first thing that you got to do is when you're creating a page you want to go over to this website option click on that and it's going to drop down themes preferences and pages so you want to click on pages and you just want to create a new page here I got a, a dummy page that I actually created but we're going to create a totally new page we're going to title this page um, Spanish page alright if I wanted the page content to be I'm gonna to go to Google Translator I already have it up so I'm um, gonna type in Spanish uh oh Spanish alright and here I have this is my web page so I'm gonna type in highlight this copy that and I'm gonna go back to my new page and page content I just got my Spanish page so we're gonna show this on the site alright the template is just gonna be a page template there's no other template that's created and unless you have a, a CSS developer such as myself or and this uses the liquid language that understands liquid and how CSS are gonna read into that it's the only way you're going to create a different new template on your screen alright so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page okay and I'm gonna go back to this so what I want to do now is go to advance and this is going to be for the title and description and URL this is the actual end URL that's going to be on the end of it but I'm going to type in here Spanish page and this is going to be for the SEO purposes then page description I'm going to type in that same Spanish that I actually put on here to um, so the search engines will know that this is in Espanol that it reads in Espanol as well so now that I have a, a French and a Spanish page because like I for the French page I did the same thing I went copy some information and we went from there so now let's go ahead and let's go to the actual uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on right click on this open link a new tab though I think that would have just actually just opened the link up by itself all right so I have to actually put the pages even though they're public I have to actually put them up in a menu so let's go ahead and let's do that okay so in order for you to edit your menu you're going to have to go to navigation first you go to themes and then you click on these three dots and then you're going to go to navigation so everything you're using and then I'm going to go to uh, main here and then we'll go to edit this page and click save all right now 
put a drop down it should be under adventure so I'm at another sub menu here maybe it's supposed to go here so Spanish page choose page so I'm gonna choose a page that's just created and then we'll do French page and that's also go go down to choose page French page all right and then just save so we don't have to mess up my web page with what we're actually doing because of additional expansive menu items being added here right now all right so now that we got that added let's go ahead and let's take a look I'm going to refresh this page here all right drop down all right so Spanish page so okay so we see our Spanish page is completely intact with this Espanol here all right and then French page with the French that I actually put here as well so this is basically what it's talking about but what you want to do now for your SEO and the subdomains in terms of that how that's gonna be set up so we're not looking at the you know it right here and it can have the proper abbreviation in your URL what we're going to do now is we're going to go to oh I think it was under settings no what's it yeah it was under settings okay so it's under settings for your storefront domain settings all right not your storefront settings your storefront domain settings and then instead of the main domain here we're not going to worry about that we're going to use a uh, use you're going to click on use different domain but we're not going to mess with the main domain we're going to go ahead and select use screen subdomain and then this is what it's, the article is talking about in terms of for example using um, English your page dot com or French your page dot com so I would come back here and then I would type in you know like I had Spanish so I would put um, maybe it's I guess the abbreviations is Espanol or um, I don't know what their abbreviations are for Espanol so I'm just gonna, I guess I'm gonna assume EN usually EN I believe is for English but we'll just assume that's for Espanol so I would just say here EN dot um, DLJ works all right dot com and then I have the um, uscreen.io um, at the end of it. So it will be uscreen.io at the end. Or if it's a different uh, domain that you have, I don't even think that the uscreen.io would even be applied. So, um, but anyway, whatever domain, subdomain that you're going to be using, you have registered, you would just go ahead and connect it here. Um, it'll let you know if it's available. So let me go ahead. If you change your previous storefront, uh, URL will no longer work. So I'm not doing any of that right now, but I'm just kind of walking you through this process if you're trying to go through and add, multi, make your website, your use screen platform multi-language and how all this is supposed to connect. So, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video and how you actually change the languages. And I'm hoping use screen actually has a built-in function or plugin that could be done to where you don't have to go through any of these options. You don't have to go outside of use screen to a third party source or jump through hoops to you know um do the the whole subdomain area probably the easiest one is going to be if you got content that is already like videos that's in a different language that this may be the easiest option but we're talking about changing the entire text on your screen as it's seen as it's seen here in the first solution that you screen provides all right if there's anything that was confusing in the video and talking about this just leave a comment below and i will make another video in the future covering um a more thorough pathway in order to simplify this process all right thank you again for watching and i will see y'all in the next one